here we're gonna try and do a walkthrough of uh, the first unboxing of the first, officially the first low oxygen specific brewing system made by a collaboration between Stout Tanks and Kettles and lowoxygenbrewing.com. And uh, these are our, our systems. So we have three vessels. Uh, the middle is the hot liquor tank and that is set up with a Herms configuration. So we'll start over at the boil kettle. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that these lids are actually gasketed. Inside view of the, the kettle, it's got a dish dome bottom and it's got three uh, triclover ports and a trub dam, trub dam. Um, you drain off the front here. The dead center is for cleaning and draining out. And that's, that right there is for a DO dissolved oxygen probe. So what we have on the lids, what we have on the lids is for the boil kettle, there's three. Um, you have a vacuum port where you'll be able to hook up a vacuum pump so you can actually purge the entire vessel and more about that later. You have a pressure relief port where you will get a five PSI pressure relief valve. This right here is for an automated hot dropper that's coming. And this is what you'll actually boil out of. You'll keep your lid on um, and you'll boil out of this three inch triclover when you, re when you remove it. The other thing, since this is a, a um, closed system, we do have sample ports, um, tangential input for Whirlpool. Um, like I showed you the bottom drains, uh, sight glass, and you have um, element ports, or a uh, shutoff switch for water, or a cutoff switch for water, a thermal well. And then on this side, you have two purge ports. Uh, one at the bottom for an empty purge of an empty container. So before you water or, or uh, move wort or water into it, you can purge the whole vessel so you have a, a pure vessel. Or once there's actually a wort in here, you can purge towards the top and just purge the headspace. So that's the boil kettle, it's on legs. Um, there is brackets to mount pumps. So the next one we'll look at is the hot liquor tank. Uh, much to the same on top, uh, we advocate pre-boiling the water so you'll boil out of this three inch triclover, vacuum port, pressure relief valve. This one has a bunch of different triclovers as well. Uh, you do have your sample port uh, for taking pH samples and whatnot. Tangential again, and um, this is like I said, set up in the Herms configuration. So there is a Herms coil in here. Some more bottom drains uh, for pH and DO and for actual draining, and the Herms coil. So you have Herms in, Herms, Herms in, Herms out. Um, tangential. You have an element port right there and another element port over here. And this hot liquor tank is actually set up for dual 5,500 watt elements. And so you also have your thermal well port, a um, float valve to make sure you have enough water so you don't dry fire. You have your two uh, vessel purges right here. Uh, one for empty vessel, one for headspace. And then you do have an extra one just for giggles. So then we'll go to the mash tun. The mash tun is very unique in the fact that um, this also has, this isn't unique, but it has the configuration same as the hot liquor tank. This three inch is for a grist um, hydrator that should be coming down the pipe a little bit later. So what you can do is you can purge your grist in this uh, grist hydrator like the professional breweries do and, and dough in in an inert environment. So you got a vacuum port, pressure relief valve. Um, you have some return and recirculation valves. You have your purge high, your purge low, and you have thermal well, and some extra ports in here. The unique thing in the mash tun is that we designed it to be a brew in a bag, and that's to help filter, well, contain the mash, and it's for easy cleanup. And you can see that you have a different, a bunch of different uh, recirculation options for in and out on top. Um, this one also has the uh, 
dish bottom and it's a bottom drain as well. So it comes with the false bottom. And then you have a port for DO and pH and draining as well um, with the hooks. So, like I said, this is the first unboxing of the, the brand new low oxygen brewing lineup. And uh, fit and finish is second to none. It's some of the best mirror polished, high end, thick, beautiful stainless that there is. And we will be putting it together shortly and it will be amazing.